Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my latest weekly reading vlog. I would tell you what number it is, but unfortunately I can't remember, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, come along with me as I do some books and stuff. It's currently Monday the 21st of September 2020. I feel a bit rough from yesterday. And um, I'm currently reading The Listerdale Mystery by Agatha Christie. So, further updates to come later. We've made a den, haven't we, Biggie? You don't look very impressed by it, though. <laughs> Oh, here we go, I'll show you. Look, it's quite nice. Hello, I'm currently watching Brews and Reviews do the Do I Have That Book Challenge. It's actually the final unwatched video. Oh no, because I've got some new stuff, haven't I? A few new, I found a new, every now and then I, you know, update me subscriptions page, I refresh it or whatever. So I've got three new videos after this and then I'm gonna watch some Netflix. It's currently Tuesday, the 22nd of September. I'm still having quite a bad anxiety day, I'm not gonna lie. Um, got my radio show out just in time. Had my walk earlier, made some food a little bit ago. I made like a, it was a hoisin tofu stir fry, which is quite nice. And uh, I'm just chatting to some of my friends on Facebook really because when I get a bit anxious like this, it really helps to talk, you know? So, um, I don't know, I'm cracking on, keeping on keeping on where I can. Um, I'm still reading The List Today on Mystery by Agatha Christie. I'm about halfway through now, so that's all good. Um, I've been slowly but surely photographing all of the books that I got from the job lot. Uh, I still haven't actually edited the whole video for that. But yeah, because um, I list stuff on my eBay store while I'm, um, you know, being productive and stuff. Uh, well, it's while I'm editing, while I edit my videos, I sort my eBay. So. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to go and do that for a bit now. Hello everybody. Uh, I have just been out doing bits of my garden. In fact, you can go on Instagram and follow instagram.com forward slash Dane's Urban Garden. And I've only posted one thing so far. But it's basically so that I don't annoy everybody else on my other accounts by posting gardening photos. Um, I mean, I'm going to do a little bit more um, and take some, probably take some photos of it tomorrow because... I don't know, it's starting to feel a bit autumnal now, you see, so I don't think it's going to get, you know, I'm actually kind of consolidating, so um, a lot of the stuff, it's a lot of stuff that hasn't sprouted, and so obviously I'm just kind of giving up on that almost. Um, so, uh, yeah, i still got a bit of work to do there, and it's too dark at the moment, but I've put this, like, uh, this cobbly stuff, uh, slate, put some slate down the side of my house, and that looks a lot nicer, because it used to just be loads of, like, empty crisp packets and stuff. Um, my sunflower fell down today. That's actually one of the photos on Dane's uh, urban garden. My sunflower, look. Hang on, how are we going to do this? We'll do it like this. So that's my sunflower and the pot it was in and it fell uh, because of the wind or whatever. So I had to replant it. So there he is now. You can't really see. You have to go and follow Dane's Urban Garden to find out. But it's looking quite nice, I think, anyway. So, uh, also some of the food I've had recently has been nice because I've been able to have some of the stuff from my garden. So I've been able to have some spring onions. In fact, that's the thing, I need to plant some more onions. But yeah, I've been having spring onions and cress quite a lot. I've got some tomatoes growing on my tomato plants, but they're not ready yet. My potatoes, I guess I... Well, you're supposed to harvest them once they begin to flower, right? And mine haven't really started flowering. There's like one or two little flowers. But um, I think I'm just going to give it until it starts to get... Basically, until when you get the first freeze. That's going to be when everything gets kind of screwed. So I think I'm going to wait until the first freeze and then dig up the potatoes. Um, what have I read recently? Um, I finished reading The Listerdale Mystery by Agatha Christie. It was quite good, probably like a 3.5, maybe even a 4 out of 5. But then I'm biased because I enjoy Christie rather a lot, as we all know. <laughs> then I read uh, The Beatles' Yellow Submarine. This was one from the massive job lot I got recently. Um, and it's the first edition from 1968, so it might even be worth a few quid, I don't know. I guess I'm going to see because I probably won't keep it. Sorry, I'm just turning my heater off because it's kind of... Gone from being really cold to being really hot again. Um, but yeah, so that was quite good. And um, now, that was probably like a 4.5 out of 5 because I'm a big Beatles fan, you know. And now I'm reading The Shadow Over Innsmouth and Other Stories of Horror by H.P. Lovecraft. We all know Lovecraft. Um, yeah, I'm only on the first story so far, but it's pretty good. It's my second brush with Lovecraft. Obviously, he wasn't the best of people, but 
that's not the criteria upon which I'm going to mark my review. So, but I am only 20 pages into the first story. The introduction was quite good, although it didn't address, address a lot of like Lovecraft's sketchy stuff. So I don't know. Um, and also, I got some stuff from Charlie, Charlie Heathcote. He sent me some of these little He-Man Masters of the Universe books because he saw that I uh, read one of them not too far ago. Uh, he also sent me some widgets from beer cans that um, Biggie can use as little balls. But perhaps most importantly of all, he sent me these three BDs, Bandas Dessinaires, uh, Ce sont uh, des livres en français, uh, c'est pour des enfants, mais you know i'm reading i'm trying to learn french as you can tell you wouldn't believe i did five years of french at school and i've been relearning for a year and that's about the best i can do uh, i've also started relearning german as well um you know ich werde eine cafe bitte entschuldigung wo ist die schloss um but yeah so i'm quite looking forward to reading these because they're in french and um charlie he said he um I think they were donated to his charity shop or whatever, and he um, obviously they couldn't sell them or whatever. So I just sent sent him a tenner and just said put it in their their kitty, you know. I mean, obviously he had to post it to me. I assume Charlie being Charlie, he probably paid the postage himself and just put all ten pound in the charity thing. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. But um, everybody wins, you know. So I've got to go and haul those now. So I'm going to go do that. As a landing zone We're watching Ancient Aliens, aren't we, Biggie? And you're you're enjoying Charlie's books that he sent. Yes. Be loud when you clean yourself. I'm currently watching Bloodsport, which is a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Uh, I'm enjoying it so far. It's about kickboxing and stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I went out to meet someone for some drinks on Friday and went to my friend's house after that. I left my phone at the pub, so I've only just got that back. Well, I've got this, which will be useful, which is um, a key safe uh, and then, yeah, it's password coded and whatnot. But I can attach this to something in my garden, you see. It's just going to be useful. Uh, oh, yeah, and obviously because my anxiety has been so bad, um, I've decided, well I, I was already thinking about doing this anyway, but I'm not going to drink in October, I'm going to do sober October or whatever. Um, but I need to quit smoke as well, so I'm going to do that. And I also need to quit energy drinks, so I'm, st I'm currently reading The Shadow Over Innsmouth by H.P. Lovecraft. I've been reading that for a little old while. Um, yeah, uh, what else is there to, to add? There isn't really anything to add to that, it's just it's alright so far. Um, and then I'll pick up maybe another Christie next. I don't know. We'll see. I've uh, got some stuff coming up at the Art Centre this week as well. So we're doing a light it in red again. Uh, where we light it up to raise awareness for the you know problems the events industry is facing. So we've got that coming soon. So that should be... Uh, I don't know. It's quite enjoyable. I'll take my camera along. I'll probably do a time lapse and stuff. Uh, and I'll get some work done while I'm there. But yeah, I think we need to go along to set it up tomorrow. And then to do it tomorrow, Tuesday night. So... I need to sort that out. And then Wednesday, hopefully going out for dinner. And then I haven't planned any further ahead than that, really. I need to ring, well obviously I need to ring my doctor tomorrow. So yeah, that's the thing, I need to get, ring my doctor and just have a word about my anxiety, probably, I guess, up my medications. And on that happy little note, I'm gonna love you and leave you and go and watch some more blood sport. I also need to finish this week's um, radio show. I literally haven't started it till tonight. I haven't got a guest and it goes out on air on Tuesday. So I need to hurry up with that. Um, and I've got a few other filming bits to do as well. I'm incredibly stressed, which is probably not helping my anxiety. But on that note, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments what book you're currently reading, I guess. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.